Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tara Quator. Welcome to Monday. <laughs> Could have done this yesterday. Hmm. Well, welcome to Monday. Monday, June 24th, 2024, day 176. That's a freaking way away. In all honesty, when I think of the number 76, I can only think of uh, petrol and gasoline, sta- you know, gas stations. And a lot of that is because, well... When I was really little, we lived right next to a 76 gas station and BP. So then when I then it go from thinking about 76, that stupid antenna ball that everyone had, and then BP and then thinking of South Park. We're sorry. This one needs to start saying sorry about all this stuff, too. And I'm talking about this character. I am not wearing one of my avatars today. I decided to screw around a little bit. I have my reasons. And again, I haven't even... Really, it comes into question why I'm even doing this. I have not played this game, and I have zero intention to. But here I am, using this. Should be... I I don't know. But one thing I wanted to bring up was a comment on yesterday's video with Tessa. Someone has suggested that we do like a reaction to horror maps and worlds in VR chat or other games in general. Let me, uh, I I, I don't, this is not to be rude, not to be rude at all, but in all honesty, I severely dislike horror games. Some people, as soon as I say I dislike horror games and horror worlds like that are in VR chat, A lot of people immediately assume it's because I'm afraid. No, that's not the case at all. In fact, my problem is that for me, horror games are some of the most boring games I've ever played. And I have the Stanley Parable. I I do a lot of boring things, but horror as a genre for me is extremely boring. I don't watch horror films. I don't watch horror television. I don't play horror games and I don't bother with horror maps in VR chat. The last time I did a horror map in VR chat, I want to say was like four or five years ago. And, um, I just couldn't get into it. It was, I know some people are talking about being scared. Lily got scared in one of the scenes. In fact, I have an old, old Twitch clip somewhere where she got scared to the floor. I get like the times I get scared in VR chat uh, don't really happen for me anymore. And that's because I'm just not around people very often. It's it's people in non horror situations that really um, give me a fun, hilarious ha ha fright. I'm not really big on horror as a genre because for me, it's boring. And the reason it is boring is because it's all cookie cutter. It's formulaic, repetitive, and predictable. I'm sorry, but even the horror maps in in VR chat are extremely, extremely, um, they're extremely predictable. Like seeing like blood on a wall, jump scares, loud creepy voices or creepy voices in your ear and just trying to be scary when you're trying it doesn't scare me i've seen some even irl i have seen extremely messed up things i have seen things so horror for me just i'm sorry i I know some people have a very high, get a high entertainment value of watching people or, or, you know, reacting to people being in horror maps or horror games. What you're going to find with me is you will also get very bored because something will happen. It's like, oh, something happened over here. Hmm. Hello. Can I help you? Would you like, would you like a muffin? Are you here for tea? You're not going to get much else. And, and and a big part of it is I have to really try. And I've tried very hard. Like the last horror map I was in, like I said, was five years ago. And I really tried to get into it. I just couldn't do it. 
It, it, it's very similar to how I seldom ever bother with music. Like, and I'm talking about musicians in general. I don't bother with lyrics. I haven't bothered listen, like actually listening to music, especially sober, in 12 years. And there are multiple reasons for it, but the biggest one is that music for me is just noise. It's noise in my head that just distracts from the noise that's already in my head. And the noise in my head is already um, immensely more entertaining than what music can provide for me. Much like the things that go on in my head can be much more um, thought-provoking than a horror map in VR chat. So it, it's it's not it, it's no offense to the commenter in yesterday's video. I will I will apologize, and I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I have on principle I have to shut down the request there because. It, you are going to be extremely bored if you watch me in a horror map. Like I gave an example. In fact, if I find any old clips, maybe I'll share them where I'm just like, what was I asking? What what was supposed to be scary? I kind of forget, but I... <sighs> Lolathon gives me better jumps, gave me better jump scares back then than, than what a, um, a horror map could. But Lolathon's really good at these things. We all we're 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 well aware of this. But I'll still have to come up with some extra ideas for day 180, which is in four days. But uh, I think I'll have to push it out to day 200 because we're looking at 24 days out to day 200. So I will still have to come up with something for everyone. Hopefully a better quality of what I did on day 100 when we debuted Tessa wanting to be part of all of this. But outside of all of that, there is not a whole lot I can really talk about. I should think of something, but I should. I also need to be extra careful in doing VR right now. We're in the middle of a heat wave here in our hometown 106 degrees Fahrenheit doesn't sound like much, but it's still only June, and August is supposed to be especially bad. But the problem is our AC struggles in higher temperatures, like it really struggles, and we have very little insulation on our walls, so the computer is trying extra hard to cool itself with that faulty... Out of the four fans I have in there, the, one of them still making that rattling noise. So I'll get to get that replaced. And the AC is working extra hard. Can't cool that down. And we have very little insulation in the walls. So I'm actually sweating quite a bit in here, even though I have, I, I can like, if I crank the AC to the lowest temperature you can get, I still cannot get it below like 78 degrees in here. So right now it's probably about 85 in the house. Especially in this room, I have to close the door when I do these things, because those kids, those kids are especially loud, especially loud. It's not too much of a problem right now. In fact, no, it's not a problem. It's not late after all. At the time of recording, it's only four thirty-two. Tess and I had a long talk, and we also had a talk with Lily that we need to be making greater efforts of doing things earlier in the day. Like, I can't be doing yard work in the evenings right now. The evenings are just too hot. They have, it all needs to happen in the mornings, which I will be doing. I should probably do some of that tomorrow. Probably. But I will still try to think of something. I know, I like I said, I, I just can't do the horror maps because I don't feel like boring everyone to tears. As boring as I am already... You will be even more bored with that. Hmm. What could I do? If we're talking about world hopping or doing any kind of world related things here. Let's see. Let me close that. Let's see. I don't bother with a lot of the games, especially like the murder game, which is now on murder four at this point. I remember when murder one was here. Goodness. Um... I won't ever do Among Us. I have zero cares for it. 
Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's check games. What? I can look at the possibilities of things here. Hmm. Definitely not boxing. I'm a pa I I I can't do boxing either. I play shoot. I used to play FPS games and everything, but with boxing, one, I uh, I'm an asthmatic, so yeah. Plus, people have tried to get me to fight recently, and I refused because of my vow of pacifism. Let's see, Salem VRC, get lost. Oh, there goes my body. Had an out-of-body experience there for a moment. What do you know? Let's see, there's VR Chess, uh, Dragon Udon Z, what? Vroom Vroom Drive, that might be... The Normal Elevator, that just sounds like I'm gonna be la- uh, I don't know, I see something on the, on the thumbnail for that that I have zero cares for. Pool Parlor. So I'll, I'll talk with some, I'll have to just talk with some friends and see if they have ideas that we can do on that day. Or at least have something for everyone at th when the time comes. I might have to record something early and then do one of my dailies and then combine the two. Just to be sure, but I still have 24 days to prepare. To, to prepare for that. Idle Home might be fun. Virtual Tabletop RPG. Uh, so there are there are options here. Why is there a Kmart in the? Why is the Super Kmart Center in the games activity thumbnail? I don't know. But I'll still have to come up with something. I have time, but I want to do better with my being preparedness than I did last time. Than I did, you know, uh, seventy six days ago. That's that's it. 70, 76 days ago on day 100. But man, still, when I really think about it, 176 days and I haven't had a single drop of alcohol. I'm proud of myself. I'm quite proud of myself. There's no throwing up rainbows for me. If you know, you know. Anyway, this is Terra Quator on your Monday. On your Monday, June 24th, 2024, day 176. Tessa and I both will see you all tomorrow on Tuesday. Everyone, have a wonderful rest of your evening. We will see you all tomorrow. So long. Of all the places to bend over, you bend over a couch. It's a good thing there's no one sitting over here.